This is your store manager. Any changes made in the store manager is immediately reflected in your store. In My Products, you will see your products are grouped into collections. Each product gallery in your store displays products from one of the collections. You can add new collections here and simply click a collection to see all your products inside. Now you can add new products from here or click an existing product to edit it. Just fill in your product details and click Add to assign this product to one or more collections. To add product options such as sizes, colors, a simple drop-down menu, and a message box, or to set your product inventory, scroll down, check the relevant checkboxes, and click the button. You can make this item visible online or take it offline here. And when you're done, save your product. Now your store is automatically updated and buyers can immediately purchase this product. Under All Products, you can select a product and duplicate it or delete it here. And the items listed here under Important may require further action from you. Once you set up your products, click Payment and Currency. Here, choose your payment method. Then add your merchant account's email and save. Also set the currency of your store. Remember, you can only use one currency per store. And set your product's weight here. Next, in Coupons, you can add coupons to your store to give your buyers a discount on their total purchase. Keep in mind your buyers can only use one coupon per total purchase. Shipping will let you set the handling fee per cart, as well as your shipping fee calculation method, which determines how shipping fees are calculated for all destinations. And you can add shipping rules here to determine the shipping fees that your customer pays upon the purchase of your product. Last, the Tax tab will let you include tax in your product price. Tick this box here if your product prices already include the tax fee. If you wish to add your tax to your product price, then leave this box unchecked. To create a new tax rule, click Add Tax Rule from here. Now go back to your editor and check out your store. Click the Products Gallery and use the Property panel to customize it even more. You can change the collection displayed in the Products Gallery here, manage your store, settings, and customize the look and feel of your store here. You have more customizing options via Settings. And that's it! Keep in mind once you save your online store, you can manage your store via My Account. Simply go to your My Account dashboard and click Online Store from here. You can now manage all of your products and collections without even opening your editor. Go ahead and give this a try on your own.